this is Palico Padge, and welcome back to Rimworld. And, well, we didn't finish on the best of ways last time. And, to be honest with you, it didn't get much better. I actually recorded an episode to carry on with Duster, and he broke about two minutes into it, and we didn't really get any further than that. He uh, then started to starve because he couldn't cook, and I had about... 15 20 minutes worth of footage of just trying to get him going and nothing happened and in the end he died and as with Rimworld hap uh, happens at the end it says your story is over and I thought well I could put this up but it would really be a filler episode and I, th I think it'd be sort of cheaty as far as uh, your time's concerned in watching this so I've decided to scrap that and we're going to start afresh completely brand spanking new and hopefully this time I won't overstretch myself we'll have some decent colonists and we'll be able to get something going. Now I have decided we are going to stay on the same world. I think that's only fair, but we will start afresh as far as the colony is concerned. So once again, we're going to Randy Random and Ruff, and hopefully that he'll be a little bit happier with me this time. We're going on to Denarabola Al Samana Kaka. Ka, 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 ka. And we're just going to go uh, select Random site again. And again, we wanted year round. Uh, we're in the desert. It's uh, going to be a warm one again. In fact, let's see if we can just do it a few more times. There we go. Arid shrubland. There we go. It's a little bit different. So on arid shrubland this time, marble and granite. So not a lot of work with the, with the, the natural stone around there. Just uh, the nice stuff and the hard stuff. But we got year round again. Not that that helped last time. It's a little bit cooler this time in January. Average temperatures, pretty nice as long as we don't get another heat wave. It's a, it's a good one. It's a good one. And um, we're going to go to a slightly larger one to play with. So let's crack on. Now, once again, I'm not going to be picking these. I'm just going to make sure that we don't have anything which they're, in, which they're incapable of, and none of these are going to be too sort of against me from the off, as as uh, we tried to before. So, uh, we've got a very old colonist who is probably close to death's door. Yep, dementia, cataract, bad back and frail. Um, I need someone a little bit healthier. A little bit younger. A little bit less abrasive. Um, that's a kiss, careful shooter, slow poke. So, likes being hurt, doesn't mind taking the time taking a shot. They're a little bit slower. No, it's not too bad. We, we can we can handle that. And they're a, a decent age, so there shouldn't be anything wrong with them. A couple of stab scars. Scars are cool. That's fine by me. And then we go to uh, Soto. That was Victor, by the way. Uh, this is Soto. Uh, young. That's fine. A uh, bit of a pessimist. Loves heat, which is fine for us. A bit of a pessimist, so always a little bit sad. Global learning factor plus 18, mental breakdown threshold plus 12. So a bit too smart, but good research. Good research. And, um, well, again, I, I can take the whole social thing because we've got this one here. Um, I don't think I can be as strict on myself this time around compared to what happened last time. <laughs> so uh, as long as it all balances out, that's fine. But so, yeah, we'll, we'll go with, we'll go with uh, Soto. And um, what's cat? So cat... Uh, can't shoot, which is fine by me. Uh, incapable of nothing, a brawl and a teetotaler. So uh, does not like getting drunk or, or stoned. That's, well, each their own. Uh, a brawler, that's fine because we've got our shots. Um, pretty even, pretty even. I, I can live with that. Uh, do we have... We do have one social person. We have a medicine person. We have a cook. We have construction. I, I, I think I think these are okay. If we're going to pick any, these these are the ones I think. So we've got Victor, Soto, and Cat. Let's do this. The three of you awake in your crypto sleep, Sogoffa guy, Sogoffa guy, to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Let's have a look. Boom, and we're in. 
Right, let's have a look. So we have a Yorkshire Terrier, age 10. Fiji. Ah, And there's nothing wrong with this dog. That's, that, that's, that's the tenant for the book straight away. Let's just have a pan about, see what's out here. So it's pretty open. It's pretty open, not very mountainous at all. I'm going to have to build some walls this time around, I think. Or at least get our defences up a little bit sooner. There's plenty of rock types to be able to pick up there and, and haul to where we need them to be. There's no rooms. See, the ideal thing is you've got somewhere to build dead centre of the map and that gives you the best time as far as issues like pirates or, or uh, mad animals um, take to get to, to where you are in the centre of the map. So um, I think we're just going to have to... Uh, build from the off. That actually looks like that is dead centre. Which is uh, weird. There you go. So, uh, yeah, there's plenty of fertile soil around. Plenty of places we can grow. So, uh, dead areas around here with, with the uh, old uh, sand by itself. But again, that shouldn't be an, much of an issue. I suppose we could use this. That would make a good first uh, cooling area, I suppose. Uh, we've got a full room there. But we're jibber jabbering. We're jibber jabbering. Let's let's crack on. So Cat. Cat, cat, cat. You are my non shooter type person, so you can pick that up. Victor, you are my better shooter type person, so you can pick that up. And Soto, you can have the pistol. Who's got the best animal handling? Three. Wow, Victor, ten. Construction animals too. So Victor, 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 Victor. You will be my animal guy. And you're unrestricted for the time being on the terrier. Okay, so. Let's start getting rid of all this stuff. Oh. That's all that in the immediate area, I think. We'll go a little bit further afield next time. And let's build. Uh, let's turn that off. Turn that off. There we go. Uh, let's let's build on this. I guess that's the best thing. So orders, structures. hate it when it's not even. Okay, never mind. Let's not worry, worry about that right now. And we need to get the stockpile zone put up. Which is there. Let's just speed this up a little. Get that going. So we've got some boomalopes, we've got a squirrel near us, we've got a boom rat. Any more big animal animals? Any big animal animals at all? Some more boomalopes. Oh, an iguana. Some rhinos. Alpacas. Oh, food. Need you. Oh, more food. We definitely need you. Oh, more food. Etc. Etc. And I think that's it as far as from the off is concerned. Right, that'll do, that'll do. Are they all gone? They're gone to get food, no doubt. Okay, so we have our room built. Let's get a door on that bad boy. No, we want normal. And we could redo really start getting our food zones going as well. Growing zone. 7 by 7 the majority will be cover hmm. let's get rid of that let's try and put it a little bit better in that first zone so that's going to be our potato so there to there is six seven that'll do that'll do uh, let's just do a strip of zerogeum so I don't think we're going to need too much of that Potato. 
that'll do for the time being as far as that's concerned. Oh my god, oh, I did not put down some sleeping spots. That's going to annoy them. That'll do, that'll do. Wake up, wake up. And then we better build... Well, because it's all sandy here, that means nothing will get in the way of some wind turbines. So, well, let's build some wind turbines. Is that right? That'll do. And then all that needs to get out of here. And then on the back here we shall build a kitchen area. No, let's not build a kitchen area. Let's build some let's build a some batteries. I think that's the best thing to do. Who's in a poor mood? What's up? Soto! What's up, friend? Pulsive Barrack. Eight off the ground, stepped outside. Shared bedroom, my god. What about the new colony optimism? Does that not mean anything? And very low expectations. You need very low expectations when I'm playing, that's for sure. So we've got our batteries going. We can probably put a door on that. That's probably the best thing to do there. And uh, let's build a kitchen right next to this think is the best thing so uh, that's my stockpile what should I do with my stockpile we shall move the stockpile let's uh, oops, oops 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 before they build that let's move the stockpile behind let's or should we put it down here out of the way it does mean I'm gonna have to drag it up though that's the only thing hmm. let's uh Get rid of some of this wood around here. It's in the way. Again, I'll, what I'll do on the uh, the break in between the the episodes, I'll go about doing their work thing. I'm not going to do it now. They can just get on with what they want to do. I'm going to need a big stockpile though. Let's put a. So I can, I can. Oh, oh, here we go. Uh, it looks like you'll be able. You'll, oh. Uh, mm. It looks like you'll be here for a while. Victor is suggesting that you give the colony a name. What should it be called? Mm, well, after last time. Let's just call it Purgatory. Is that you spell Purgatory? That's how you spell Purgatory here. The colony is now known as Purgatory. Purgatory, Purgatory. Mm, never mind. Purgatory! Now we need to connect with those batteries which they built very quickly actually whoa let's just pause a second this is our first test oh, oh can't, can't go back as well what we got there let's have a look at that first uh we have food hair meat oh we definitely need to build a fridge definitely 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 but first things first mad animal a local iguana has gone mad it will attack anyone it sees where are you there you are Ooh. Ooh. Shall we go with that? Okay. So you're coming to me. You're coming to me. Where are we? Who have we got here? Got my gun and you come here too. So Soto has the pistol. You better go there. Victor, you got the rifle. Cat, we can't really afford you to be getting hurt. You go inside. We're not going to worry about the dog for the time being. Here it comes. Who's the best shot? Who's going to get the kill? Victor's lining up. Soto takes aim. Oh, Soto got it. 
Come on, Soto. Victor, you're rubbish. Oh, he's going for Victor. Run away! Run away! Soto, get here. Victor, keep running. Be the distraction. Round in circles. Come on now. Soto, come out. Victor, keep legging it. Uh, my, there we go. I was going to say, how many shots does an iguana take? Jeez. Right, so. We need to do a dumping stop pile. We need to do a dumping stop pile. So. Let's do a. 8 by 8 dumping stop pile there. And that's going to have nothing. But raw resource, well, raw and manufactured resources, I guess, is best. Uh, or none at all, I guess. Stone blocks. Yeah, that's fine. And we shall get rid of. No, let's prioritise that one. That's the preferred one. And then we need to build this. Um, this kitchen dining area. So how much wood do we have? 110. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that should be okay for that. And then we'll build Dining area like that as well. I hope I've got enough wood for that. Oh, we'll soon see, I guess. And then I think we shall start doing batteries on the next one too. We out of steel. No, we've got steel. So let's build some conduits, I guess. those up and then we want to go well, that's probably best if we took it all the way around that room that should be enough for the time being so we can always bring it down here for the uh... no, that's the dining room so if we take out that one and that one that can be where the heaters go where am I looking Temperature. Wrong way. There we go. Cool. And then we definitely need a door for there. I don't know if to leave a door open there. Then we definitely need to make bedrooms, which we'll do off the back of here. I'm probably going to have my stone cutting section here, since I'm going to be putting all the stone there eventually. And if it's telling me I need defensives, it never fills me full of. Uh, oh! A deep space miner named Kelvin Gonzalez calls you from nearby. He's being chased by pirates from the kangaroos. Oh, we're near the kangaroos again. He begs for safety and offers to join your colony. Biologically, he's 32 years old. Be warned, if you accept, you have to fight off the pirates on his tail. Hmm. Well. Yeah. He's young. He's young. He is a space miner, which means he's good at digging. I don't have uh, much to dig out, but never mind. But it's an extra person. What to do, what to do. Well. I guess we'll find out on the next one. I'm going to end it here. Take it easy. Wait.